Here I am again, the same splitter. We have to redo the test because people ask for having the open port supplied with a load. So I'm going to use the 50 ohm load from the Nano VNA calibration set. This is a 50 ohm load. And let's redo all the numbers. But first, I have to take out the capacitors. If you remember in the test before, I've been uh, insert a few capacitors here just for the sake of experimenting. Now I'm taking them out. Okay. Let's redo the contact. We are fine. They've been 10 nanofarads capacitor. Right. We are good. Perfect. But anyway, let's check for continuity. First of all, my K weights, smart meter on the bench on continuity mode. We should have a clear short. Okay. I have to redo that. Okay. Let's check. Perfect. We are good to go. So we have perfect continuity from here to there and to port two. Perfect. Of course, like always, let me test the cables. The saver software, it's already on the screen. Calibrated and uh, with a range from 820 megahertz to 900 megahertz. Now we are testing the cables. These are in uh, through position and sweep. Everything's fine here with the cables. We are good to go. Let me do a calibration again. Okay. Yeah, same story. Uh, of course, we are watching the 868 megahertz frequency here. Central point of the LoRa band. Ready to go. So, let's have the input output on rf one remember we had like minus four or something loses and now we have a load on the empty port and let's sweep minus 3.420 yeah a little bit better let's have it in open minus 4.4 .4. that's right it's an improvement of around 1 db so the open port it was a problem now as long as i'm here let me see if uh, let's say i don't have a load but i'm using gun attenuator and that should be also a kind of 50 ohm load yeah, minus 3.345. So if you don't have a load, you can use an attenuator without problems. And, or you can use even a, a filter or something anyway. So yes, it's true. With a load on the empty port, we gain 1 dB in signal. Okay, now let's see about the isolation test isolation in between ports. We had minus 8 dB. Okay, of course, load on the input. And let's rip. And now we have minus 18.497. So it was absolutely right. All the empty ports should be fed 
with loads. Right, minus 8.133. Minus 18, it's almost like they've been advertised. So obviously it was my mistake. I'm sorry. Minus 15 with this kind of attenuator like a load. Minus 18.5. Okay, almost like the advertised. Well, people, let me have a bigger range. 1,200. And it's even better. We have like minus 19. It's working better. Around 1,000 megahertz. Okay, let's see. input minus 3.49 okay so the insert loose is minus 3.2 around but it's not one like they advertised so uh, it's pretty okay yes the splitter is nice the splitter is fine and it's working great it was my mistake again I didn't uh, took in consideration filling the empty ports with a load yes you can use the splitter in a proper way and thank you very much everybody who wrote me about having this uh, under control with a load on each empty port you guys have been right my mistake okay I hope it's useful please like please subscribe and of course have some fun Bye-bye.